We have breaking news now from Florida. The launch has been scrubbed. The Artemis 1 rocket so they've will made it not official. launch. It is official just in the last few minutes that due to fuel leaks and uh, they've hit the launch window that, as I said before, was two hours long. But due to these fuel leaks and due to the uncertainty with the structural stability and whether or not this thing is actually going to get off the ground if they try to do it, NASA has scrubbed the launch of this new Artemis 1 rocket and they were going to try to go to the moon with some uh, an unmanned mission here to try to explore, see what the impacts were, see how successful the mission could be for potentially landing humans on the moon once again for the first time since the 70s. But now that is not going to happen. At least it's not going to happen today. We're going to have more to come on that in Morning in America, including another update with Brooke Schaefer, who is there live at the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral. Yeah, very important to uh, do what's best, do what's safe, and it's such an expensive project that they're going to perfect it before they launch I know, it. I think we have seen some terrible footage. I mean, I, th I think of the Challenger, and I know this is an unmanned rocket, but seeing something like that that you're looking forward to so much potentially explode on the launch pad, I don't even know if that was a possibility, but it's very concerning, and I'm glad that they were better safe than sorry. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.